Let's move to the Pac-12 because this was a, a bit of a shocker to me, and maybe it shouldn't have been. Oregon State 42, Utah 34. Post-game win expectancy for the Beavers was 100%. Nailed it, didn't you? Nailed it. Man, that was one of my money line plays, and I lost a couple of heartbreaker money line plays. I needed that one to finish the day out. Brother, it was sweet. So, so on this in this situation here, this was the complete opposite of the Arizona State game for Utah. Utah started out, scored on four of their first five drives. On the other one, they were stopped at the one-yard line and probably should have taken the points. But I understand going for it helps your your percentage to win, all that good stuff. But 100% win expectancy in a game that was decided by eight points is a little surprising. Oregon State dominated this football game. You look at the stats here. It, it wouldn't You wouldn't see it as domination early. But if you look at rushing yards, Utah gave up 260 rushing yards to Oregon State and only had 188 themselves. Yards per play, 7.8 for the Beavers to only 5.9. Utah ran 17 more plays, 77 to 60 in this spot. And and the only turnover in the game was actually an Oregon State turnover that led directly to Utah points. So Utah wouldn't have even been in the ball game. Like, B.J. Baylor, 19 carries, 152 yards, one touchdown, and Chance Nolan, 14 out of 19 passing, 208 yards, two touchdowns. I I mean, it's not like Cam Rising was bad. You know, he was 22 out of 36, 267, two touchdowns, no picks. I, I don't know what to make of Utah. My eight-and-a-half ticket is gone, by the way. Yeah. I, I, I had the over on eight-and-a-half on them. That's right. Huh. Uh, I'm going to tell you, Oregon State is one of the most exciting, unseen, like, no one saw this before the season started. I don't think I, this team is so fun to watch. I, I Jonathan love Smith. Them. Yeah. I love betting on them. I they're not the best team in college football, but they are absolutely unbelievable to watch. They're fun to cheer for, and damn, they are having themselves a season. At Jonathan Smith has done such an incredible job with this football team, and he'll be up for a bunch of jobs. But remember, this is his alma mater. He wanted to get them back to being you know, competent and, and competitive. No, no, they're far more than competent. Hey, yes. hey, uh, Casey said Oregon State has a hell of a program going, basketball and football. This is a guy that doesn't watch college baseball either. College baseball, really, really good at Oregon State. That AD should be getting paid. Yes, very much so. They they knew that they had a losing hand with Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson quits anyway. They go out and get the Washington offensive coordinator, former uh, former player at Oregon State, Jonathan Smith, and they they figure out a way to turn it around. Like they invest enough in the program to be relevant, and and they are good, man. Uh, between them and Oregon, uh, eleven and three on the season. That's pretty good. The state of Oregon, run, like or the state of Oregon, the Pac twelve runs through the state of Oregon right now. Yeah. Like, period. Yeah. Civil War is going to be awesome. It's going to be so much fun. So awesome. much fun. I hope it's another fog game like it was last year. That shit was so good. <laughs> well, if it is, it's going to favor the 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 the, uh, the, uh, the Beavers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oregon State can run on anybody. Anybody. Yeah. Like, that B.J. Baylor kid is something else to watch, man. Something else. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.